Hi, I'm Dennis DiCicco, Senior Editor of Sky and Telescope Magazine, and I'm here at the 2010 Northeast Astronomy Forum, better known as NEEF. And I'm talking today with Greg Bragg, Vice President of Sales for Mead Instruments. Mead has brought a big display of telescopes here with all kinds of scopes. They range from... 79 bucks all the way up to 35,000. Well, I think that would cover it. You've got oh, stuff yeah. for every level of the beginner to the advanced amateur doing advanced imaging. You also have a couple of specialized scopes here today. Yeah, we have some Coronado solar scopes designed specifically for looking at the sun. And these are not just like regular telescopes with a filter that makes it a safe level, but you actually see H-alpha where you see all kinds of spectacular solar activity. Activity. And I know that just in the last couple of weeks we're getting sunspots, we're getting activity. So those solar scopes will be very interesting in the in the weeks and months to come. Yeah. So very good. But you have some very new technology here. You want to show me a couple of your new scopes? Yeah, we just brought out the big brother to the LS, which we introduced last year. It's called the LS8. Uh, it's really an amazing instrument. It's really the first telescope on the marketplace that's designed to be fully automatic. And all the user has to do is turn on a light switch. We build it into the side of the telescope. It's, it's illuminated, so it's very easy to see. You just turn it on, and it goes through a whole series of, uh, of functions to get it aligned for the night sky. Most beginners don't have a clue about the night sky. They don't know what star is what or where that star is, and this telescope has all the capability to know where you are, where all the stars are. It's got some real cool technology built in. It's got a level north module, which actually is a magnetometer and an accelerometer, which is really amazing stuff. It finds true magnetic north, it, it actually levels the scope. It's designed to do everything for the for the user that an older technology, which is really a year old, the user had to do. So it, it's also got a built-in camera, so when it goes to one of the alignment stars for its process, it actually photographs the sky and determines the right star and centers the scope on that star. It does that twice. So you've got your level, your north, it has a GPS built in, so it finds you, it finds where the user is, it also collects the time and the date from the satellites, so all that's all set automatically. And then once that process is completed, all the user has to do is punch a bunch of buttons to find the objects they want to see in the night sky, and that's built into the hand box. So all along there have been these computerized telescopes with the promise that you push a few buttons and you'll get to look at objects, but it has required users to get their telescopes set up initialize, they have to identify a few stars in the sky, and for some people that can be very confusing. So this has eliminated all of that. Turn on the switch, step back, the telescope will do its thing, and you're ready to go, just press the buttons and you can start looking. So you also have a lot of uh, kind of technology built in here to help people know what they're looking at. You want to yeah. tell me a little bit about that? One of, the, one of the additional things we do that nobody else on the marketplace does is we include a built-in speaker. We use it for entertainment and education at the same time. It's really amazing for outreach, for teaching kids, for, for giving the user some information about what they're looking at in the night sky. It also has an optional video monitor you can add. It's a $100 accessory that gives you enormous uh, interaction with the telescope. Nobody else is doing that kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. You just made an interesting comment. You say you have a built-in speaker. You mean that two ways. You have a speaker that you can listen to, but you also have a speaker who has recorded all of this information That's that right. you can listen to yeah. about the objects that you're viewing in the yeah. telescope. If you're in the astronomy world, you know a woman named Sandy Wood. She's the voice of NPR radio. She's got the most soothing voice in the world. She's, she tells about over 500 of our objects in our database. It's really great to listen to, and it really is very informative, too. Jupiter is well known for its famous red spot, which is a storm that has been raging for hundreds of years, or perhaps longer. The face of Jupiter is defined by colorful bands. I can vouch for that because I could listen to Sandy Woods tell me about astronomical objects all night. She's just wonderful to listen right. to. So this is a fairly complex telescope you've got. Yeah, this is probably the most sophisticated telescope we've ever built. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's got so many things that no other telescope's ever incorporated, so it is very sophisticated. So you've added all the sophistication to make it simple for users. That's right. All right, but I know from experience that sometimes people just run into problems with even the simplest technology. Right. Got solutions for that? Yeah, one of the things we've done recently is beefed up our customer service department. Uh, we've really spent a lot of time getting those guys up to speed on the technology that's in this scope. If the customer happens to call, we answer the phone really quickly. We have really good understanding of what the technology in this scope is. 
So when the customer can't really figure out what they need to be doing, or they've had issues with it, we take care of it really quickly. So somebody can call and get a hold of a real person? Absolutely, very short, you know, very short order, 30 seconds we'll answer the phone. It's a really big deal for us. We've been working really hard to get on top of that uh, area, and, and customers are thrilled with what they're getting from us now. Oh, that's good. People can feel confident if they're buying a sophisticated piece of equipment, they need a little bit of help, they can get some with talking to somebody on the phone. Yeah, Dennis, we've even taken it one step further. We've actually incorporated a policy in, in our customer service department on a select group of our scopes. If a customer calls and it's not functioning out of the box or they've had an issue with it that happens in the first couple of weeks, we'll actually call that, call tag that product, get that scope back, send the customer a brand new telescope. It's called First Light Program. Excellent. It's a real big deal for us. That's excellent. That sounds like a first in the telescope business. I think it probably is. All right, Greg, I want you to tell me a little bit about what's obviously the centerpiece here and attracting an awful lot of attention. It's a pretty big telescope. Yeah, this is the Max Mount. This is the 20-inch German equatorially mounted telescope tube that we've just been, uh, we just reintroduced again this uh, last couple of months. We were out of production for a little while while we were moving, moving our factory into Mexico, and we just started back up. We just delivered the first products uh, this month. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the product just came back onto line this month. So we're, we're back in production with this model. We're really excited about it. All right. This is the biggest telescope that Meade has ever made. It is. Mm -hmm. uh, the whole thing weighs about 450 pounds, 460 pounds. The tube by itself weighs 185 pounds. Uh, it, but the interesting thing about it is two people can assemble the whole thing until you get to the tube. So the, the product itself is really portable, even though it's massive. So it's all made to be broken down. Right. I notice that you know big hand knobs in terms of adjusting the polar alignment. Looks like there's even essentially no tool setup. That's you, right. You don't have to come with a lot of tools. You just that's have right. all the pieces and start setting them up in the field. Yeah, that's right. So here you've got a telescope that would obviously be right at home in a major observatory at an institution or perhaps a really advanced amateur, but it's also been made as a portable instrument that could be brought around and set up wherever needed. That's right. Very good. It's just it's the high-end part of a huge line of equipment that ranges, as you said, from beginner's telescopes to under 100 bucks all the way up to this masterpiece. And you've got other things as well. Eyepieces, deep sky imagers, binoculars, EDAPOs. We're, we're even in the weather station business. Coronado solar scopes. Telescopes that do everything for you. Telescopes for beginners, telescopes for serious amateurs. So Greg, I want to thank you for telling me about all the things that you've brought here to show. And, and judging by the people standing around, I know there's a lot of people going to want to come ask you some of the details about what you've been showing me. So thank you very much. You're welcome, Dennis. I'm Dennis DiCicco, Senior Editor for Sky and Telescope Magazine here at the 2010 NEEF Conference in Suffern, New York.